welcome to the VS Code Guy. In this video, we are going to see how to clone using the SSH keys from the GitHub repository. But before starting this video, I must make sure that this is the last video of this series. So if you haven't seen the GitHub series or the videos be before this, please go and check them out. I have put a link in the description. So for this video, let's get started. First of all, let us see what are SSH keys and what is SSH. So inside Chrome SSH or secure shell, it says SSH is a software package that enables secure system file transfers over insecure networks. That means even if you have insecure network connectivity like from your machine to the GitHub, if you have an insecure network, then SSH make sure that the file transfer between you and your github account is secured so if i say in a simple words visualize this as your machine or your laptop or pc whatever and this is your github account now you want to transfer files from your machine to the github or from your github account to your machine and in case by any means you have an untrusted or unsecured network from here to here or from here to here then comes the role of SSH. SSH makes sure that you, your machine and GitHub account, your GitHub account are connected by a secured path so that the file transfer may not be compromised with security. So that's it. So I'm going to make a better demo. I'm going to make a new repository, a new folder for now. It's called Demo SSH uh, demo SSH. Okay, I'm going to add a new file. Let me add a new file. Where is a new file? Dot text. I'm going to add SSH and inside it I'm going to add random information. Okay, I'm going to close it. Close it and now open with VS Code. Okay, it's now opening. Now you will see ssh.txt under demo ssh. So if I open ssh.txt, it says random text. So I'm I want to upload this repository to the GitHub. So if I go to the terminal, I will say git in it, git space in it. It says initialize empty git repository. Okay. It says git add space and dot okay get commit with let me say ssh added okay is not a git command oh sorry the spelling is not correct my mistake my bad git commit okay it says now it has been committed now if i go to my github account github.com now this is my new github account you will see none of the repository showing here so if i go to create repository and if i name this ssh okay i'm going to make it public create repository okay now i'm going to copy these commands because i'm using the cli command line i'm going to copy i'm going to paste in the terminal okay and now if I hit enter, it's waiting. Now it says permission to Mohammed Akif SSH denied to Mohammed Akif. That means it is unable to access this link because you know, because my GitHub account is not connected to my machine or my laptop via the SSH to make sure I am right. Let me head to options. Inside options, I have settings. Inside the settings, I have profile, account, security, etc. And under this, I have SSH and GPG keys. I'm going to open it. And you will see that there are no SSH keys associated. So the, the common link, the very, the common link, the very necessary part of the link SSH key or this channel 
is not present between my laptop or my machine and my github account so i'm going to add this channel between the two so for this i have to add a new ssh key a new ssh key now it says title and the key now it says the key begins with some random ssh rsa and blah 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 so how i'm going to find it so let me minimize all this now if i go to git bash now this is the git bash terminal if you don't know how to use it or how to install it i have made this clear in the previous video you can go and see how to install it and how to use it there so as for now i'm going to make the new ssh key so that i can connect my pc or my laptop to my github account so the first command is ls space hyphen a space hyphen l and then space then tilt the sign at the left of one and then uh, slash dot ssh okay i'm going to hit enter it says cannot access c such 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 and no such file or directory found because inside if i go inside pc c users mohammad rakif you will not find any folder named dot ssh so the dot ssh folder which contains the ssh keys is not present in my uh, machine so let me make a new folder for that uh, the command is ssh keygen ssh keygen space uh, slash t hyphen t sorry rsa space then p and then the size you know you have 4096 and then space capital c and then space inside double quotes you have email account the email account or the uh, microsoft account you use for creating the github account so i'm going to type in mine i am i think that's the one okay now if i hit enter it says generating private key pairs okay enter the file make it default enter paraphrase i don't want none no now it says the ssh folder had been made so let me check it inside c and users and mohammad rakif now you will see ssh folder this new folder created and it contains id underscore rsa public key or the ssh key so now i'm going to make or connect this to the github account i have i have to evaluate the pid for this i have eval dollar within the parenthesis i have to write uh, ssh ssh agent space hyphen s so it says my agent pid is 1394 One three nine four. Okay. Now I have to add the ID underscore RSA, which was made just now. So for this I have to add SSH, add space tilde hyphen uh, sorry slash dot SSH slash ID underscore RSA. Okay. Now hit enter and it says identity or the key has been added from this location. to this account okay now i want that key so i can paste it here in my github account here so to extract that key so the first of all let us be sure that the keys are made or not for that i am going to type the first command the very first command i typed in here it says ls ls hyphen s it says cannot access because at that time no such file or directory was made but now if i type ls space hyphen a space hyphen l then till hyphen slash sorry dot ssh now it show now it shows me four things it says true of my directories and it shows id underscore rsa this is the ssh key and this is id rsa dot pub so these two are the ssh keys id underscore rsa and id underscore pub and now one thing to keep in mind you always and always have to share this id underscore rsa dot pub ssh key not this id underscore rsa because this is a private key now you have always to share this id underscore rsa to wherever you want
to the github or wherever you want you have to distribute this dot pub ssh key so i'm going to copy it so for copying it i'm going to extract it so the command is cat space tilde uh, slash dot ssh slash id underscore rsa dot and make sure you have dot pub okay if i'm going to hit enter now i'm going to let me zoom it now the in the full screen if i hit enter now this is my key this long ssh rsa and 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 a bit a chain of strings this is my ssh key so i need to copy this i'm going to copy it from the ssh it's copy control ins okay for future reference uh this is the github now i have added it's though let me have a laptop ssh or anything you want add the ssh key now the ssh key has been added after the ssh key is added i want to connect my machine to the github account so for this heading over to the git bash again let me make it small so i have to write ssh and then space with hyphen capital t it's capital t git uh, at the rate uh, github dot com it's ssh hyphen t git at the rate github dot com okay if i hit enter now it says authenticity can be established rsa fingerprint blah blah yes i type yes now it's connecting it says hi mohammed rakif you have successfully authenticated so my machine is now connected to my github account this github account to make sure let me close it and now to upload this demo ssh as a repository to my github account i can use the github desktop now github desktop is very popular and very fantastic app that you should use now i'm going to simply drag and drop this it says repository okay create a repository by itself demo ssh don't initialize do not initialize with readme okay create repository now it has made a repository publish the repository okay publish the repository this is same as doing git commit and then git push origin master the difference is this is ui and that is terminal that's the only difference this is an app and that is through the terminal so the repository has been added it says view on github now you will see ssh text which i made just now some random text i typed in so this is how you can add a repository by using the ssh keys or by setting up the ssh keys if you are adding it for the first time or if you are using the github account and uploading your first repository for the first time so now let us see how to clone this demo ssh repository i am by using the ssh so now i have clone or download four options download zip as discussed earlier open in desktop github desktop clone with https and clone with ssh so i'm going to clone it using the ssh cloning with https was done in the previous video so please go and watch it so i'm going to clone with the ssh so copy the ssh and now type in command go to command prompt and now inside this i'm going to change the directory to the document so cd uh, documents okay now i have to type git clone cl any and then space and then your git ssh url so i'm going to hit enter now it says cloning demo ssh now demo hyphen ssh this is the github repository this demo ssh now it has been cloned i think yes it has been cloned now if i go to documents where are documents inside the documents let me make it full screen i have demo ssh this is the repository which is cloned from the github so let me open it now ssh this ssh is my random text and this ssh in this text is the git attributes okay this is the git attribute that you will find over here inside this git attributes 
you have two lines text auto and a comment and inside these you also have text auto and auto detect so this is how you can clone your repository from the github account using the ssh key that's it guys this was all about how to use the git clone for cloning the repositories if you haven't seen the previous videos of this series then please go and watch them these are all related to github and if you find this video working fine then please like the video and be sure to subscribe the channel i'll come back with a new interesting topic until then thank you and happy coding